All right, so today we're changing the cabin air filter in this piece of shit 2008 Suzuki XL7. Let's take a look what we got to do. Okay, so you're gonna have to get under the hood to do this um, to do this replacement. It's really not that hard, but I want to show you something. There's five rivets you have to remove, right? Three are under the hood, and then two are here. So take a quick look. Got one, and you can barely see it. You got two. All right, now the tough part with this is the hood has to be down and you gotta put the wiper arm up so that you can access it, all right? Oh yeah, and that's a pork roll, egg and cheese sandwich. You know, that's the essential. So, these things are pretty old and worn. You just wanna get in there with like a flathead, give them a little leverage and pop it off. And just be careful because, you know, they don't make these cars anymore, so the replacement our rivets could be a pain in the ass. So I'm gonna pop these two off, I'm gonna pop the hood, take off the other three, and we'll be back. Let's take a look here. Here are the other uh, locations for the three rivets. You got one, two, three. Now in theory, this should pop off. All right, let's see. Woohoo! it did. Maybe look, where is the nasty old cabin air filter? So what you wanna do is, you know, wiggle it a little bit. It is pliable, remove, and pull out the old one, all right? That hasn't been changed in I don't know how long. All right, so what we're gonna do now is here's the new one. I think this is like 15 bucks, 12 bucks on Amazon, not a bad price. I'm gonna throw this in, and basically what you do is you just slide it back in. Real easy, um, it is pliable, so just kind of make it work, and I'll be right back. All right, also look for where it says airflow. That's where the air is flowing in, all right? Um, pretty basic, so look, boom, airflow, in. <clears throat> what we're gonna do, like I said, man, it's pliable, so just get this fucker in there. All right, see if you can get it in. Obviously, you don't wanna, like, tear it, but, you know, you don't have to be super gentle. Um, you know, throw that there. All right, we're locked in, looks good to go. And we're just gonna put it back together, simple enough. All right, so I mean, that's really it. You put the five rivets back in after you put that air filter in. Um, I mean, start your car up, I guess run, run the air for a minute, but if you followed all the steps, that's really all you gotta do, okay? That saves you like, what, 50, 60 bucks when you go to the shop to get your oil changed. So I hope this helped. If you've got any questions, just drop a comment. Peace.